first thing you're going to want to do when you're planting garlic is two to three days before you're going to plant them, you need to separate the cloves from the bulb. Break them apart from the stem, peel off any extra paper, leaving one or two coatings of paper on. If some of the paper does come all the way off, it's okay. This is why we're doing it a few days in advance so it has a chance to dry out. Here you can see what they should look like. I have a little bit more bare ones than I like, but they will still grow as long as they're dried out ahead of time. Right here, you can see a dark brown one that's soft and smushy. This is a telltale sign that it's bad. Throw it away. You can see the difference between a nice clear one. When you're all done, put them into a paper napkin, paper bag, cardboard box, just like I'm doing here. You're going to want to store in a cool, dark place for two to three days. Let's head outside. All right, welcome back. So a few days ago, we broke up our seed garlic into little cloves, and now we let them dry for a few days in a basement, let them kind of cure over. And you kind of want to leave some paper on the garlic clove, but obviously it's really hard. So you can see, I do have some here where there isn't any, but this is why we leave them to dry for a few days to let that harden up so it won't rot when we put it in. So here we have my raised bed. You can see I have my rows. When you're doing garlic, there's a lot of different depths and spacings you can do. So it depends on how much room you have. I don't have a farm, so I'm gonna go four inch spacing in the rows, and then I'm gonna go about six inch spacing in between rows. So here, I just kind of marked out my rows with a pipe, and I have my tape measure. So when you're planting garlic, you can notice that there's a pointy end, and then there's a butt end. And that butt end is the root end. You want the pointy end up and the butt end down. You want to plant them about three inches below the soil surface. Now this is freshly filled loom, so I'm going to just push them right in because there's very little restrictions. It's not going to be compacted. I'm going to just plant it. And I'm going to go about every four inches. As you can see, I have them in. And then I'll just go over with my hand. And cover it up. Now I'm still a few, few weeks away from my frost free date. So I'm not going to cover this with mulch just yet. I'm going to let it grow for another couple weeks, let the roots develop. And then when it gets closer to that freezing time, I'll lay a, uh, a layer of mulch or straw, probably straw on top. That's what I like the best. So just to give you another way of doing it, if you come down here, you can see that here I did a trench. So I'll move my tape measure over. And some people really like the trench. It's a lot, it's a, it's a lot easier, especially if you have compaction or whatnot. So here I can just lay these. My trench is about three inches deep, and I'm just gonna go along and lay them about every four inches. You can see the pointy ends are up. Now that I have them, I'm just going to take my soil, cover right over. Put a little marker where my last one is so that I'll know where I can mulch up to when the time is right. And there you have it. So I'm just going to keep going along, I'll plant the rest of mine. Once you have one row done, instead of moving the tape measure, you can kind of just use that as a template as well. Thank you. 
Here we go. I have a few extras. Not a big deal. I got them all in. I'm just going to double check that they're all deep enough. And I'll take my hand. I'll just kind of cover all this up. If you grow different kinds, I would suggest putting a label in between. And there you go. Garlic's gonna grow for a little while. You might even get some green shoots before the winter. Then it'll stop growing. That's important to get a big harvest for the garlic. You want it to sit over winter. And then in the spring, it's gonna pop. And it's always a good idea beforehand. You can see these, these little yellow pebbles on top. I basically put an Osmoco uh, time relief fertilizer and I use my shovel basically sprinkled it, dug my shovel, flipped the soil over so that the garlic has some nutrients and fertilizer uh, when the roots reach it to really take off. If you enjoyed it, can't wait to see you next time. If you have any questions or you want to show me your grows, let me see them in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.